Hey there folks, watch this video and as you can see gameplay from R Factor 2 in the background, I'm talking about the news that F1 is going to be using Bahrain's outer track for the Sakir Grand Prix. That's going to be the second race weekend at Bahrain. I mean, this is something that's been speculated all season long. I'm glad that we're going to be doing it because it means that we'll be getting, what, an 87 lap race to make it to the 305 kilometers, which means we vaguely get to the region that we'd be expecting from Monaco. Because, of course, the Monaco Grand Prix takes place on a 3.337 kilometer layout, uh, which would mean that typically you'd be looking at 92 laps. Um, with the Skier Grand Prix, the outer track is 3.543 kilometers. Hence, to make sure we get to the 305 kilometers for the Grand Prix, you need to be doing 87 laps. Um, it's likely to be that this is going to be um, the fastest qualifying in F1 history, um, even with the alleged party mode ban coming in. Um, that is an estimate from F1 at lap times below 55 seconds. Um, the F1 website, which you can see an article from in the description below, notes that the only sub-60 second poll time in F1 history is 1974, Dijon with Nicky Lauda at 58.79 seconds. And you know what? I think this could be interesting. We've done part of this layout before in 2010, so some of the drivers are going to have some very limited experience of it. Uh, but at the same time, it's largely going to be an unknown. Because, well, this spec of cars haven't done the bits of the outer track that we've already done. And also, how are we going to see pit stop strategy going on? And, well, I'm just fascinated by how this is going to turn out. Um, it's the not oval as people are referring to it and I don't know what are we going to see three DRS zones I reckon but it's going to be a lot of fun and I hope that we're going to get some enjoyment out of this as fans well even if the racing isn't like full of overtakes because just the spectacle of having something so fast should be quite interesting Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.